Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm coming at you today from the comfort of my own bed in my very cozy and cuddly robe to film this quick video to share with you guys five trends that I absolutely hate. And you're probably wondering what kind of trends. Well, obviously, I'm going to talk about a couple fashion trends that I cannot believe ever began, let alone have lasted as long as they have, as well as some observations I've made while shopping that I say fall under the umbrella of a trend and is something I hate. So if you're curious as to what these shopping and fashion trends are, just keep on watching. I'm going to start off with a shopping trend that I hate. It is October right now. The cold months are fast approaching. So naturally, it's a good time to start shopping and looking into some coats and jackets. I have been doing just that for probably a month now, if not maybe a little longer. The trend that I have noticed that I absolutely hate is that these coats and jackets out there are cut way too small. I'm not saying that they don't have large size runs. They are cut so small that they don't factor in layers. I can find coats that fit, but I'm trying them on right now with a t-shirt and the size that I'm trying on is a generous and larger size, yet all I can fit under there is a t-shirt we are buying coats and jackets for winter what do you wear in winter you wear sweaters you wear layers you wear bulky things you need to have a coat that is large enough to accommodate those kind of thick bulky layers and in my shopping experience in the last month or six weeks is that these coats and jackets these days are not cut in a way to factor in for those layers. The second trend that I absolutely hate is that Zara cuts their sleeves so small. Like, so small. I will find something so amazing at Zara. And let me say that for me and my body shape and my size, it's difficult at times to find something that fits across the chest and across the back. Um, because I have a wide back, I have a big bust. So that is a bit of a challenge for me. And I can't even begin to tell you how many times I've gone into Zara and I have found something that fit, but not in the sleeves. How are you cutting a jacket or a top that can fit a big bust? And then the sleeves are essentially cut for someone with an arm like this that's not even proportionate like what are you thinking zara sleeve cutting people i love that store i love the items that they put out and there are so so many times where i've had to return the item back to the rack because the sleeves are cut so small the third shopping trend that i hate it involves size runs in stores I'm not going to be singling out any store in particular because I think this is an issue that's kind of across all stores. They do not carry large sizes in stores. And if they do, they'll tell me, oh, well, we only got one. Or if you want this, you can order it online. Excuse me, why are you not carrying larger sizes in the store? Why, if you are carrying it, your company only sends one of the largest size? Why do I have to go online to purchase the larger sizes? For crying out loud, I go into stores and I see size extra, extra, extra small. That's three X's before the small. And you carry that, you have like 30 of them in stock, but you can only be bothered to carry one extra large or one XXL if God forbid you even offer that size. Nope, I don't agree with that. That's unacceptable. Isn't the average female size a 14 or a 16, isn't that what it is? So why on earth are we not carrying those larger sizes in stores and have them accessible to people when they walk into the store? Or why do we have to race to the store like it's Black Friday when you get new items because you only got one in the larger size? You should carry a full size run in multiple quantities across the board. 
these last two points are just fashion trends that I hate. First one involves the drop hem. As you can see here, I have my lovely robe and you see the stitching here on the shoulder. It sits on the shoulder. For the last, I don't know how many years, but it's been way too long. There are tops that are made out there that have this hem down here. That is just hideous in my opinion. I don't think it is flattering. I feel like it makes people look like they're slouching. Um, it makes them look like they have no shoulders. I mean, people like a nice broad shoulder. Why do you want to look hunched over? And when it comes to me at least, because I am a little bit bigger, that dropped hem down to here is not at all flattering. It makes me look like a linebacker, quite frankly. It just makes me look super duper wide here and I don't need that. You know, I need things that do the opposite of that. I need something that is a more slimming and flattering cut, not something that's gonna make me look double my size up here and like, I'm ready to tackle you. It's not good at all. I thought that was going to be in and out because I thought people would wake up and realize that having this hem not sitting on your shoulder, but sitting like halfway down your arm is stupid. But I guess not, it's been around forever and I absolutely hate it. I will admit that I do have a couple items in my wardrobe that do have that dropped sleeve. The only reason that they are in my closet is because it doesn't really make me look as wide as that style can. I can get away with it is really what it boils down to. But at the end of the day, I really hate it. I'd love to see that trend go away. I'd love to see the shoulder hem be where it belongs on the shoulder and not on the arm. The second and last fashion trend that I absolutely hate is actually something that was recently addressed by one of my favorite YouTubers out there. And I'm looking at you, Shay Whitney. Hi girl, I have subscribed to your channel forever and enjoy all your videos, love watching it all the time, love when I get the alerts that you have a new video up. You are fan-freaking-tastic. I love the way you edit your videos. They're so much fun. I just am totally fangirling over here and just wanted to give you a quick shout out and say hi. So Shay Whitney recently did a video talking about some trends that are tacky. And one of the points that she made involved the painfully short shorts. And it's not just short shorts, it's the shorts that let me see half of your butt cheek. No one needs to see that, I certainly don't. I don't care about your butt, I don't wanna see it. If you're wearing a short that is that short, where you're starting to reach regions of the body that should not be exposed in public, I don't get it. If you have a killer body and can rock it, you know, God bless you, that's cool, but at the same time, it's still, you know, there's a time and place for everything. The only place that I could see this being acceptable is on the beach. I don't understand this fashion trend. It does not at all look comfortable. In some cases, these shorts, because they're so short, the waist ends up being so high that these girls get a mom butt. You know, like, do we remember uh, Ryan Gosling in, uh, Crazy Stupid Love, where he talks about Steve's character and he tells him, you have a mom butt. And he was pointing him in the jeans. The shorts end up giving you a mom butt in some cases. So your butt is half hanging out and then the part that isn't looks like a mom butt. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's just a, a stupid trend in my opinion. I don't think it's at all chic or elegant or classy. It's just, I mean, I commented on Shay's video. I said, I don't think it's tacky. I think it's trashy. I thought it would, again, like the issue of the uh, shoulder stitching would be in and out, but it's kind of lingered. And man, if I tried to walk out of the house as a kid wearing something like that, I would have been yanked back probably by this ponytail. Please stop wearing those shorts, people. Please. With that final point, we have reached the end of this video. Please let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you agree with me on some of them and then disagree with me on others? Let me know, let's talk about it in the comments below. And if you like this video, obviously do not forget to give it that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video because I would love to have you come back and chat with me about various topics in the future. So 
Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.